Right, today, uh, which is, uh, it may seem very familiar to you, these, some of these ingredients, uh, but since I was making panna cotta earlier on, I'm going to make some dauphinoise uh, today. Um, so I'm going to use about 250 mils of full cream milk, 250 mils of cream, about six agria potatoes, um, very finely sliced if you have a mandolin all the better um, and um, garlic there's eight or, eight or nine good size um, cloves are good and we want to slice those up um, uh, because they will actually go across the top of the dauphinoise as we pour the, the cream in so um, We're going to, um, and also some Himalayan pink salt, very important. <clears throat> um, once I've got this uh, sliced up and prepared, I'll come back and show you. Right, so first we're going to start with our cream. So, uh, in we go with some full cream milk then in with our cream I'm going to pop this in the saucepan and we're going to um, add some salt to that some Himalayan pink salt but just to show you with the garlic So we want it quite chunky, so leave it in chunks like that. And then pop it into the cream. In here we've got about two teaspoons at least, and maybe even three, of the pink salt ground up. Throw that in there. I know it seems like a lot of salt, but it, it is going to be it has to be enough for six big sized potatoes. Okay, once that's done, we'll come back. Right, so the cream and the garlic and salt are just going to sit there. Don't boil it, um, just bring it up to as high a heat as you can without boiling um, for around about 25 minutes so the garlic can really infuse. Then, while that's doing that, take your slithers of potato here and I've put some uh, baking paper down just to stop it from sticking to the bottom you can slide a, a knife around the edges once it's done to free it up from the sides but from the bottom it will be quite quite difficult um, make sure you use baking paper not grease proof paper um, otherwise the paper will fall apart. So you can keep layering that up to nearly to the top, uh, round about here, um, and then by then the cream will be ready and we can pour that in. Right, once this has had a good half an hour to 40 minutes with the garlic, take it off here and just pour it gently over and it's only about half filling that and that's all you really want and you can you want to get those pieces of garlic over the top there like that and then we're going to put this in the oven for around about an hour and a half. Um, after about an hour, uh, you can pull it out and um, take the covering off it. So what we're going to do is, this is baking paper, put this on top of here 
and then put some foil on top of that. And what that will do is it will stop the foil from actually sticking to the potato. Right, so that's now going to go into the oven. Beautiful. We'll come back in an hour. Okay, there you are. It's been in about an hour now. You can push it down with a potato smasher and just compress it like that. And once it's compressed, then you can pop it back into the oven for another half hour um, at about 180 degrees. The effect of compressing it down like this will mean that um, once it cools a little bit after the second cooking, um, you can cut it up into sort of like potato cakes. Okay, so this has just come out of the oven. Let's have a look at this. And we're going to press this down again. with the um, potato smasher here. And that's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alrighty then. Stay tuned. Um, for my next recipe, which um, I think will continue along the French theme. <laughs>